Despite the blood dripping from its jaws, I don't think that thing is going to wait around for long. El Paso Elsewhere. I have no fucking clue what this game is. Honestly, I just saw the trailer late last night, and I gotta tell you, the game looks very interesting. It's listed as Stakes Gun Slow Mo. Fight werewolves and vampires in a reality shifting motel. Dive through barricades to escape the grasp of evil puppets. Destroy the villain you loved. A new. Wait, destroy the villain you loved? I don't know what that means. A new third person love letter to classic shooters. Neo Noir never looks so good. So, this actually. And going off like the gameplay and the trailer, there are elements of Max Payne in this. And Max Payne to me is one of the greatest games ever made. The second one to me is even better than the first one. The story is fantastic. Ignore the fact Mark Wahlberg tried to destroy it in that shitty fucking movie with Mila Kunis. And it's terrible. It's terrible. It's one of the worst video game movies of all time. Max Payne. They did not. And I, but anyway, uh, that's what this game kind of reminds me with uh, of. And I get the whole neo noir never looks so good, uh, but the the love le third person love letter to classic shooters, I get that fully from this. I'm actually I'm excited after watching the gameplay and the trailer. Uh, the game is being developed by Strange Scaffold, which uh, they have not given a release date at all for this game. Sadly. Uh, it says it's supposed to be sometime, hopefully out in s September or fall of this year. But I'm really... Oh, I'm... Wait. Oh, this came out already. That's <laughs> 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 so That's stupid. Wait, wait. No, is this being... Re so, El Paso Nightmare came out already. This whole time, I thought it was a brand new fucking experience. <laughs> coming. Oh, wait. No, it says coming soon. Oh, oh. So this is, okay, so El Paso Nightmare came out in 2022. It was released on October 25th. So that game is a first person shooter and apparently they did something similar to that game but did it with a third person perspective so this is what they say in the about section on steam el paso elsewhere is a supernatural neo-noir third person shooter hunt werewolves fallen angels and other damned creatures in the vivid slow motion love letter to action classics fight your way through a reality shifting motel save the victims of dracula and lord of, they spell it d-r-a-c-u-l-a Lord of the Vampires. Destroy the villain you loved, even if it means dying yourself. Somewhere in El Paso, Texas, a three-story motel gained another 46 stories. All below ground, so yeah, this is going to get loud. And it features an original hip-hop soundtrack, Molotov cocktails filled with holy blue flame, a fully, fully voiced neo-noir story campaign set in the reality-shifting motel full of monsters, hordes of destructible physics objects for shooting, more slow-motion dies than you would think is humanly possible fit into a single video game outside of Max Payne, I imagine. Um, but yeah, this game I'm excited for, and I'll have to try out the other El Paso uh, Elsewhere game that was a first-person shooter. Yeah, let me know in the comments down below, though, I, are you excited for El Paso Elsewhere? If you played El Paso Nightmare, let us know in the comments down below. I'm, I'm interested to hear whether or not it was a great game. I might just buy it. It's only five bucks. I don't know how much El Paso Elsewhere is going to be, but I like these type of games. I like these games that are like love letters and throwbacks to old school like action adventure, uh, first person shooter style games. It, it's really cool. Also down below, you'll see the link to our other main channel, Smoking Sessions, where you can find movie watch alongs movie reviews uh movie movie news movie everything okay if you enjoy gaming sessions you'll enjoy smoking sessions and if you enjoyed this video don't feel free to leave a like and if you didn't you can also leave a dislike and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on videos like this from us in the future and thank you so much for all the love and the support it's been really encouraging to sit there and see more people commenting more people watching and liking our videos and more unique viewers so thank you so much for all of that and we will see you all in the next gaming session